What's up, y'all? It's that time again. We just completed another awesome build and we need to show it to you. So this is uh, Hutchins Fire Department, uh, Fire Rescue. They're a suburb just south of Dallas. Uh, they built a Type 1 14 foot body. They put it on a 2022 International CV 515 diesel two wheel drive chassis. Big chassis, big medium duty chassis, it's tilt hood. So the mechanics are going to love it. And Man, the outside of this thing is laid out and looks awesome. There's so much to show you. First of all, up on the front wall, so we use M-Series lighting, but they've added, in lieu of M-Series on the lower level, they did Whelan's beams, which have that really cool sweeping motion. You can set different, different flash patterns, and we synced them all together. They look really, really good. Uh, also, we've got a big Pioneer uh, white light on the front, scene light off the front, uh, an Opticom system to change the traffic lights. And then up here on the front of the truck, so um, because this has got the tilt hood, any grill guard assembly that we do needs to flip down. So this option is a full replacement bumper. So we take the OEM bumper off. We put this big heavy duty welded steel bumper on, which has this grill guard on here that pull these pins out, tilts down out of the way so you can tilt the hood. But on the front of this bumper and grill guard assembly, they got a lot going on. So they did air horns, sounds like train horns, crazy loud. This is a Q siren, not EQ2B. This is a, a true Q siren. Uh, Wheeland speakers, but powering these Wheeland speakers is a Carson siren. So different tones uh, than the Wheeland siren. It sounds really mean compared yeah, with, with the Q and then that Carson, it just sounds so awesome. Uh, and then we did three levels of grill lighting. So you got forward facing grill lights, M6. There's mid-level intersect lights, also M6. And then on the side of the bumper itself, we got M6 lights that are true intersect lights. Um, so three levels of lights, really bright. The Rota beams, mid-level, M-series up high with that uh, full panel Pioneer. Thing is crazy bright, it is crazy loud, and it looks awesome. So we're excited to show this to them. One other thing I wanna mention about the bumper, you know, on this style bumper, we were able to put the chevrons, which is a really cool feature, but not just aesthetics, functionality. So I've had department but after department after department tell me, well, it's an expensive option. I think this feature is around $4,500. In Animal Strike, you know, the repair, the downtime, the repair cost to get the thing back up in service, thousands of dollars each time. So if you, if you live in the county or a city and you're prone to striking things in the front of the vehicle, going with a fully welded steel replacement bumper like this, well, it might be expensive on the front end, it's gonna save you money in downtime, which is really important over the life of the vehicle. So something to consider, it may or may not be for you, but um, we like to offer it and we like to explain how it could add value to you. Moving to down the side of the truck. So I mentioned uh, fire rescue department. So, you know, gear storage is critically important when, when doing the design. Uh, and you'll see that on all of our vehicles, but I'll show you what, what Hutchins decided to go with. So they've done a, um, a stand up, uh, main oxygen bottle storage compartment. And there's space here as well for uh, backboard storage, pretty common layout. Our electrical cabinet, pretty standard features going on in here, nothing nothing crazy. That's their air horn compressor down low. Uh, you know, every vehicle comes with a customized electrical schematic to this vehicle um, right here on the door panel. We call this the intermediate compartment, driver's side forward of the rear wheel. Uh, this storage space here, most commonly used for stair chair storage, and then forward of this divider, adjustable shelving on Unistrut track. Uh, so you can really kind of design that, lay that out however it works for the department. And then this compartment back here, this is laid out for SCBA and turnout storage. So we've put these, uh, these half inch uh, welded aluminum plates in the back corner. So very easy for you to go in and just bolt your SCBA brackets on here wherever you like as far as height goes. Uh, and then you've got hooks on the ceiling of the compartment uh, to hang helmets and jackets and whatnot. And then also flashlights, 12 volt flashlights in here on chargers ready to go. Fraser's heater air conditioner in the back of the unit. Uh, more storage here for backboards. So because they have two spaces, you know, they could likely keep you know, their scoop stretcher, two backboards, and then in that other vertical compartment, they could keep anything that needed to be, you know, 60 inches or taller stored vertically. So it's a flex space used for, you know, however it works for your department. 
Uh, lighting on the rear of the vehicle, so again, M-series lighting, but you'll notice above the doors, we did a M6 V-series light. So what makes this light unique is it'll flash, but then when you open the door, that downward angle light comes on. So it's a combination light, flashing emergency and rear scene lighting, or some folks call it rear load lighting. Also, they specified this, so when the flashing, when the lights aren't flashing emergency, but they open up the rear doors, automatically those lights will start flashing and that downward uh, scene light will come on. It's a pretty cool feature. Onan generator power system. So uh, diesel chassis, gasoline powered Onan generator. So the upside of that is this is completely independent from the chassis. So right now the truck is not running at all. The Onan generator is running and we're providing full power to everything on the body heater, air conditioner, emergency lights, all your compartment lighting, and it's charging the truck batteries as well. So your MDT and, and stuff like that, that's off the, the batteries up front. This is charging that to make sure we don't have dead batteries. Your inside outside compartment, uh, this is headed out for Texas EMS in the morning. So, you know, we've got storage for that, that equipment in here. Um, yeah, this is gonna be your first in, first out bag. Typically, some folks will put their uh, like Zoll monitor, their life pack in here. Um, we've seen Auto Pulse go in here. So various different storage uh, here. And then our, this is our 14 foot door forward layout. So your side main entry door, in lieu of it being just in front of the wheel, it's located at the passenger front corner of the body. So this is how we enter the vehicle. So we're inside the patient compartment now, and I'm right inside the side entry door uh, at the front of the vehicle. So as soon as you come in the door, first thing you notice is you've got glove box storage here. So if you weren't coming into the vehicle, but you needed to access gloves, you could step in the step well, gl grab gloves, and, and go back out onto the scene. But when I come straight in, I have three different levels of storage. And we've got uh, Lexan doors with two shelves, three spaces in here. Then there's an aluminum door also three storage spaces, uh, you know, aluminum door so you can't see what's in here. So this is probably low volume uh, type equipment or things that you may want, uh, may not need access to all the time. You don't need to see what's in there. And then the lowest level down here is the refrigerator. And so this is locking. If you want it to lock, you can use a key to lock this and that, would, that space would be secure. Um, right here, two levels of storage. So for protocol books or you know, a tablet or a computer, anything you need to store here. Captain's chair, so it slides forward, it swivels. It's got the child seat built in with your four point harness. Uh, your action area, it's got an independent light here. And then uh, basic action area controls. Uh, so, you know, lighting, ventilation fan, USB charging. You got oxygen, thermostat control for the heater air conditioner. Uh, your suction controls, 120 volt power. And then this is Tecna mount. So this bracket will actually attach to the bottom of a life pack. This bracket will go everywhere the life pack goes. And then when they're in the vehicle, they slide it into place. It's in a crash tested bracket that has full 360 swivel capability. Uh, Sharps container with lock. Um, this is still referred to commonly as a CPR seat. Uh, it's interior street side seat. Uh, it's wide, so it allows you well harnessed. You can sit in this position, but you can still move closer up towards the head of the patient or further down towards the waist. So it gives you flexibility to actually provide patient care while being harnessed. Storage cabinets, uh, heater, air conditioner, duct work up here. Um, and then return air for your HVAC. You got a 12 volt uh, clock with the sweeping hand. It's got count up, count down, and alarms on there that go off. Squad bench area, really, really busy space. And you can see as I'm moving through here, um, so I'm five foot 11 and I'm able to easily get around the stretcher at the foot end and work my way all the way around the patient if I needed to. Uh, you got glove box storage, Sharps container, acrylic organizers, two levels. So this is gonna be like IV start supplies. You also have an acrylic organizer over on the other side so you can do like redundant IV setup start, uh, start setups. Uh, overhead storage, three different bins, you know, they flip up, doors slide open. There's inventory tagging if you do inventory tags. 
two seated positions, position one and position two. Also six point harnesses. Got a trash can here. These are the doors to that inside outside cabinet that we saw. So, you know, this slides open and closes and closed. It doesn't flip open. It wouldn't be able to flip open because of the chair. So easy access here. Uh, Knox Med Vault for narcotic storage. A great accessible location really from you know, multiple different locations in the vehicle. So I really like that this kind of centralized location for it. Uh, huge, huge uh, workspace here. So um, one, of the, one of the questions that we get asked kind of regularly on social media and um, the different platforms when we show a video of the door forward is like, what's the value or why would I want a door forward versus the one where my, my entryway is kind of more of the traditional location aligned with the, the patient? The patient's head and it's really that exact reason so with the door moved all the way forward there's a lot of activities that happen in this area you have family member and just things going on on the scene outside the vehicle so there's a lot happening out there uh, you have you know probably three or four different if it's a critical patient you got three or four different the care providers back here with the patient um, you got a supervisor up here pulling meds and just providing supervision and direction and so when you move that all that out of the way of the care providers and the patient, you give them the space to do their job in a pretty private location as compared to a door right there at, at the head. So um, that's the main feedback that we get is, this is just a really busy space. And so when you move it away from the patient, it gives the care providers that working space that they need to be efficient and, and effective in. So a lot of really positive feedback on it. It is a very common layout. Um, and, uh, if you have any questions about it, you know, we'd love to hear more, um, it, it, maybe how your agency's operating and how it could benefit you or things that we could change with our layout that may, may benefit y'all better. Uh, we'd love to hear it. Great layout, great design, great spec from Hutchins Fire Rescue. Can't thank Chief Stacy Hickson, Captain Lehman, uh, enough for trusting us to build this unit for them. Um, um, working with us through the, the chassis uh, kind of crisis, if you will, and, and, and just being a great customer and, and a partner in this whole journey. Can't wait to show this unit at Texas EMS. It's gonna show really, really well. Y'all saw the outside, looks fantastic. The layout inside is, is just great for patient care. And then more importantly, can't wait to deliver it to you and, and let y'all run calls in it and give us feedback and, and uh, ultimately wanna build another one for you. So thank you.